Hello, this is Shruti from Team WeFrace, the creators of Explorazor. Today, I'm going to be showing you a working demo of Explorazor and how it helps users, especially business users, to perform root cause analysis and ad hoc analysis on the fly. But most importantly, you will have you will get to do this independently. So first thing to know about how Explorazor helps users is that it provides a consolidated view of multiple data sources. So what I mean with that is that your sales, uh, primary sales, secondary sales, IQVR, prescriptions, all of these data sets are harmonized by our organization, by our team. And then we upload it into Explorazor for your business users to check out performance of their brands or regions across various metrics so that you know they can get all the answers of uh, the kind of questions that they would have in, an, in, in a single platform. So let's see how this works. So we have a brand in the data called Alpha Supplement, which is what I'm going to be using today for the demonstration. So I'm going to type out Alpha Suppl Supplement and I see when I type out, the platform suggests me data uh, or points from the data itself. So I type out Alpha Supplement and I want to see the market share value on a quarterly basis at an all India level. So as you can see, when I type out, you, I get these suggestions. Now I want to look at the All India market and I click on Ask. So within a few seconds, the platform firstly throws me a tabular view of uh, the market share value of Alpha Supplement over the past few quarters. But because this is a quarterly data, I can actually convert this into a trend line so that I can actually see the performance. So what I see is that the market share has actually been falling since the last few quarters. Now this is concerning for me, right? I would want to diagnose why this is happening. So I'm going to add primary sales and secondary sales metrics as well because I have a harmonized data. The platform is able to provide those values also uh, in the platform itself. Now, okay, so what I see is that I have secondary sales in orange, market share is in blue and primary sales is in yellow. Everything has actually been falling since the last couple of quarters. Now, again, there could be certain reasons why these are falling and I would want to diagnose why these are falling because these are ultimately impacting my market share. So what I'm going to do is look at some of the metrics that affect our secondary sales value. So for example, prescriptions and I'm just going to remove market share as I know it's falling. Let's remove that and focus on these two metrics. Okay, so I see prescriptions is in yellow, which has increased, but we know that secondary sales has actually decreased. This is strange, right? One, one hypothesis could be that your HCPs are prescribing your product, but your chemists are not selling your brand. Maybe they are selling the competition's brand. Maybe your competitions are running better schemes for the chemists. So again, this is concerning. We would want to look out for these uh, distributors who are not pushing your, uh, you know, your products well, or maybe, uh, you know, the run schemes in the regions where the chemists are not selling your brand as compared to how it should be and how the HCPs are prescribing, right? One, one another uh, thing which I would like to check in order to support this hypo hypothesis is check the expiries because if the expiries have also increased, it means that secondary sales your distributors are actually returning your product as well okay so i see that yes yellow which is expiries has increased pretty drastically which you know confirms on our hypothesis that because your chemists are not demanding for your brands secondary the distributors are, are actually you know won't have to they they have to actually you know return your products so yeah uh, that can that confirms our hypothesis so you can see within like two to three minutes, I was able to diagnose certain red flags in the data and I was able to highlight what needs to be done. But like I said, you want to focus on the regions of the distributors for starters, right? So I have another data in the platform, which is, which goes more to the granular levels. I'm going to run a quick query. It's already in the history. The query is this alpha supplement brand itself. I'm going to run a query called absolute growth. Now absolute growth is basically the growth compared to the previous quarter for secondary sales on a quarterly and I'm going to add a filter of state instead of all India so that I can see which are the states that are you know not grown or might have not you know maybe the secondary sales reduced as compared to the previous quarter because of the absolute growth term. So I can see that Andhra Pradesh is the 
state that has uh, that has faced the last la largest decline, right? So what I'll do is click on here, conduct root cause analysis, and will bring up a screen where I can go down to the ASM's distributors levels as well. So I click on this plus icon, click on ASM HQ, and I see that in AP Vijayawada is an ASM where I need to speak with. And maybe we can also prescribe Vijayawada which distributors they should go and speak to. So like Lakshmi Enterprises and Venkata Shiva. I can also look at the uh, sub-brands that these distributors need to focus on. So one of them is White Offer. And similarly, I can check this for Venkata Shiva distributor as well. Right. So White Offer needs attention under the Alpha Supplement parent brand. So this is how, you know, your business users can test out hypothesis without wasting a lot of time toggling between multiple excel sheets and they can quickly find out uh, and test out their hypothesis run ad hoc analysis on their own without relying on anyone so i'd be happy to show you a larger demo sometime uh, do let me know if you're interested you can reach out to me at shruti at the rate thank you very much